A couple of weeks after the trade deadline and things are honestly looking pretty good. We're hovering around 500 and as of late we've been pretty good. John is back, Dacian is back but he hasn't really worked his way into the rotation yet. Unfortunately Jay Sean went out for a few weeks and so we did bring in James Johnson just as a defensive presence and an enforcer. Just somebody to help soak up the minutes who is not a liability defensively. Other than that, we're 100% healthy. And I say we take a look at one of the matchups, which will likely be a big deal in determining our seed. Because we're the 7th seed right now, believe it or not. Sitting at 35 and 34 going into tonight's game. So I'll see you guys in Houston. This should be a good one. Boy, traffic was crazy. I'm lucky I made it in time for the game to start. Oh, and KJ is getting things started for us. Not really a three-point shooter, but he can hit that corner three pretty consistently. Well, this offense isn't really going anywhere. Yep, he's just going to have to force something up. What? I mean, okay, KPJ, if that's really how it's going to go, I'll take it. Having Bielitsa on Triple J isn't great, but it's all we got. Oh. Uh, we're lucky that he missed that one. That was pretty open, honestly. Let's see if we can do something on the fast break. Nothing really but K. Putting the moves on jaw and going straight to the rim. That's what I'm looking for from him, man. So good. Ooh, KPJ taking jaw off the dribble like that. His ego is going to get inflated from that one. Well, JJJ got a bucket on Nemanja finally. Surprised he's been doing so poorly against him. Looks like they're finally getting Christian involved. A three-point set. Interesting. Uh, well, if you're going to leave him that open, he's going to hit it gotta play up on him oh boy kpj's in his head don't do anything dumb like that don't don't do that all right guys get back on defense kpj get on grayson allen in the corner what are you doing why are you camped in the paint come on you know better than that oh a set for kj when he gets going to the rim he can finish some tough looks just like that one let's go kj Gary's coming in pretty aggressive, too. Already jacked up a deep three. Missed it, but... but Well, if he's going to leave you that open, man. Take whatever shot you want. Do you not know that this is one of the best three-point shooters in the league? Man, they just keep going to Triple J, and he just keeps missing shots. I mean, look. He was almost wide open for that. What is going on with him? Finally, we got somebody switched on to Christian. Yep, that's exactly what should happen. Five points for Christian. Now the benches are coming in, and oh boy. Valanchunas, he always kills us. Our bigs just don't do well with physicality. Luca especially struggles. His defensive IQ is just not there. I know, a 6'10", 265-pound behemoth should be able to match the physicality of Valanchunas. Nope, not even close. Thank goodness Gary gets us something even if he has kind of just been chucking this quarter. But unfortunately, our bench was extremely outmatched this quarter. I mean, it was pretty embarrassing. I have no idea how they managed to kill us like they did to close out the quarter. But we have, we end up being up six, despite not being able to get any offense going at all. But I'll take the lead. What do you mean you forgot the second quarter footage? Yes, I, I know nobody cares about the second. No, okay, whatever, I'll just... We'll do the third. <coughs> so, uh, KJ tied the game up for us. Although, maybe he went the wrong way, but he scores, so who cares? KPJ had a pretty rough second quarter, too. Or so I'm told. But he gets himself back on track, scoring on Grayson Allen. Triple J looks way better this half, too. He's pushing Bielitsa around now. We've got to take this lead back. Oh, KJ, tough finish. 12 points for him. He's been pretty good tonight. Are they are they're just going to leave Nemanja open? I mean, that's three easy points. Come on, Grizz. Read the scouting report. Oh, okay, Cade. Good job recognizing when to post up on a guard. No way Grayson can guard him. We're starting to warm up now. KPJ's been pretty quiet tonight, but oh boy, is he quick. Easy buckets with that Johnson screen. Speaking of, look at him putting the moves on Triple J. Ooh! KPJ, what a tough shot. We're getting a good lead now. 
But finally, Christian can get some love. It's been hard to, for him to get it going tonight against this defense. Well, we were getting a good lead. Back-to-back -back buckets by the Grizz definitely doesn't help that. We've got to hold on, man. Well, so much for that. Game is all tied up with that Brooks 3. And Luca is now getting abused by Valanchunas. The offense has gone dead, and we cannot defend a fly right now. Oh, my God. Coach. Coach. Get him, get him out of there. Anybody is better than him right now. Play Luke or something. I don't care. I cannot do this anymore, man. I can't watch this. We're lucky to only be down three after all of that. Man, we have to play better if we want to win this game. You know what? Just take whatever shot you want, man. KPJ has been awful all game. Just boneheaded play after boneheaded play. And we still can't guard a fly. I really don't know how we're still in this game, honestly. Yep, this is about what I expected. Just a frustrating night all around. Nobody was really efficient except for Cade. KJ was all right. Christian got bodied all night and fouled too much. All in all, it's really just time to move on to the next one. We're still 35 and 35, and guess we'll just have to play better in our stretch coming up. I do still like our team, though, and we're coming in on the close of the season. Very important stretch for us. All right, so as I said at the beginning of the video, it should have like flashed on screen. I got to remember to put that in. But I'm sure you're well aware it has been like eight, nine, ten days since I uploaded. Uh, no, I'm not quitting. Okay, so get that out of your brain. But uh, this has been a tremendously busy week. For, I literally have not had time to do anything. I come home, eat, go to bed, basically, is what's been happening. Uh, finals, man. Finals at university. My last full-time semester, and I just got a promotion at work. So I've been trying to do all that, and I just haven't had time to do any YouTube videos. I wrote a script for a video that was kind of trash. It was about how uh, the gap between the West and the Eastern Conference isn't good. I mean, it's got some good points in there. Uh, I doubt I'll even ever put that video up, but thank you for, I mean, uh, still, like, in the last two days, two days in a row, we got four new subscribers each day. So, things were looking a little stagnant, and then I stopped uploading, and all of a sudden, all these new subscribers. Uh, so, thank you if you're still here. But, um, we're going to start getting back into it now. School is over for now, and I'm moving to fully online, so that'll make things infinitely easier. And uh, now, with, now I don't have to worry so much about schoolwork. YouTube can take the place of that schoolwork and what all I had to do. Um, but yeah, we should be going back to the normal upload schedule now. I know I've said that a couple times in the last month. April has been a huge back bounce back month for the channel. The watch time was really terrible in March, uh, saved in the end there. But uh, we're looking pretty good in April. It's been a pretty good month. Looking forward to finishing up the series. We're nowhere close to that, but looking forward to getting it going again. Sorry about the gap in the uploads but uh yeah if you've subscribed recently if you're still here been liking the videos um thank you guys for sticking around and we're gonna get back to the videos in the normal schedule I promise it's gonna happen eventually just have to get everything sorted out so thank you guys and see ya